So for today's art time, we're going to make a donkey that moves. So we've got a printout for you that you can get off our website. There'll be a link in in the video comments at the end of this. And here is what we've got. Um, I've cut one out, which we're going to use in a minute. Peter did a bit of colouring in for me. We've got pink ears and a brown nose. If you wanted to, you could just colour him in. That's absolutely fine. If you want to go a little bit further, what I've done is I've cut out a donkey. And because I thought it'd be interesting, I've got one of our pictures from a walk we had, nice background, and we're going to put the donkey on top of there. I've made this quite large, a bit too big really, um, for the picture, for the purpose of videoing, but um, you can make it a bit smaller if you wanted to, or if you wanted that, that's absolutely fine. So here's what we're going to do. We've got some split pins, which are these cool pins, that's going to make him move. We've got some teeny tiny split pins, which we accidentally bought without checking the sizes. Um, my hands are a bit too big and manly for these, so I'm not going to use those. We've got some blue tack on a coaster. So we don't damage the table when we push the pins through. And here's what we're going to do. So we want the head to move. That's kind of important. So we're going to cut his head off. Don't panic. So then we're going to put a pin in there so his head can move like that. And we're going to have a tail that can move. This can be a little tricky, but we'll see. Okay, there's his tail. And I'm going to make this leg move. As long as we remember where it all went, we'll be fine. It's all good. Okay, and we've got these bits that can move. So what we're going to do, using our blue tack, we'll get rid of this piece of paper. Just for a moment. There he is. He's a bit messed up, isn't he, really, at the moment. But we'll get him back. So what we're going to do is put the donkey on there, like this so that the paper is crossing over on top of each other. It doesn't look perfect, but it's okay. You can always fix it afterwards. And we're gonna push this through two pieces of paper into the blue tack, like that. Go through that hole. And then, oh gosh, very fiddly. Go through that hole, through the bit at the back, and then these are called split pins because what you do is you split open the pin. And there we have a moving donkey head. There we go. And we're going to do some more of those bits. So I've got his leg here, which we're going to do. So one hole, I'm going to do two rather than at the same time. So there's one, two. That goes through that hole that we just made into the other one, open it up. Now we've got a moving leg, which is cool. And then of course we have to do his tail, pin the donkey tail on the donkey, so it won't hurt him, trust me. No animals were harmed in the making of this. There's one, second hole, don't need that now. You could do different legs, you could get a different picture, you can do whatever you like really. This is just one that we found that we're putting on our website for you. And there you have a donkey that can move. There's our picture. We can move his leg. There we go. There's his leg turn around. There's his leg. We can move his head. And we can move his tail. Now, if you can do a better job than that, please do so. Uh, you'll probably do better than I can. This is not my greatest skill, but I had quite a good fun making it. I hope you will too. There'll be a list of um, things that you need at the end, but we'd love to see your photos. If you want to take a photo of you, what you've done, that'd be fantastic. Um, you could, of course, color cut around inside the black so you can't see any of the black outline, and then it'd probably look a little bit less obvious, but we've done this just so you can see what we're doing but you could have cut it out and then colour it in afterwards. That's a way around it. Um, but there you go, there's a moving donkey. And you could colour him in, you could colour him in, then cut him out, that's probably a little bit easier. Stick him on your favourite picture. So I'm gonna do him, Look, looks like he's having a bit of a, having some grass, there we go. He's got his leg bowed, there we go. Tails up, he's all excited. Right, and there you go, there's a donkey that moves.